my name is Walter Neri. It just so happens I'm an individual who's blind and love to support the VISTA Center, which is an organization dedicated to enhancing the lives of persons with visual disabilities. I am an avid theater goer. I love the movie Wait Until Dark and, and thought that I could help out. And uh, the next thing I know, I'm memorizing the entire script and thought that the input that I provided to the lead actor, Sarah, hopefully is, is enhancing her performance, making it a little more authentic in terms of the mannerisms on stage, the head movements, the hand movements, how she navigates through the stage, uh, creating a little more of what it would be like to be blind at that time, 1944. You know, the white blind cane only became a thing in 1931. It was not until 1936 in New York State that there was some legislation that designated individuals using a white stick as being in a special category, and it designated them as being blind. The character in Wait Until Dark, it's only eight years later that this character is navigating through the world with techniques that are just being developed. And you know, what, what I love about the character and, and what really drew me to want to participate, probably a little more than they thought uh, consultant to a character portrayal would do is the the fact that the character lives by a rule that I consider my rule number one and rule number one is the deal is how you deal with it and the character through the arc of its development in this production goes from seemingly fragile, vulnerable, a little naive, to about as opposite as you can imagine without me giving away the plot of the thriller performance. And in so doing, demonstrates that the deal is how you deal with it. About 19 years ago, I went blind due to a retinal degenerative eye disease that in five months, caused me to lose about 95% of my vision. And in that adaptation period, it was uh, frightening. It was, it, it was like losing part of who you are. Each of us are gonna have things going on in their lives that aren't gonna be perfect. Uh, some of them might be challenging, some of them might be devastating, but we, it's not a question of if, it's a, just a question of when something in your life is going to happen. And dealing with it is part of your journey. And it's that long, dark hallway that you have to walk through, usually by yourself, to get to the party at the end of that long, dark hallway. And it's through the process of understanding that it's how you deal with things that demonstrates your character, it demonstrates how you're going to remain relevant as a human being on this planet. And uh, it was through that adaptation period I developed a little set of 10, 10 rules by which I live my life. The first of which is the deal is how you deal with it. And, and, and the character Susie in Wait Until Dark is a, perfect, is a perfect personification of that concept of, of how you deal with things when faced with the need to deal with them and not just crumple like a piece of paper in light of what, what's going on all around you is, is really who you are as a human being. So the Vista Center is an organization that, that dates back decades and decades. It is designed to assist an individual with a visual disability from the moment they find out about 
the fact that they are or might be going blind all the way through to the tools, the techniques, the technology that would be appropriate to transition into a life without sight. A lot of people have asked me the question, how, how, you know, how did your life change knowing as a, a young child when the doctor told my mother, not thinking I could overhear, that uh, he has the disease and, and probably will go blind someday. He said, you know, what do you do with that as a little kid? Nothing, you go out and play. But it's organizations like the Vista Center that are there for those challenging moments at the first diagnosis. They've got a low vision clinic to help those who have low vision, which means they have some light perception. Maybe they, they even have some visual acuity, but they need magnification or CCTV or other technology aids to help them get through their day. There are transitional workshops that they prepare for individuals to understand what does it mean to be blind, what, what tools are available. They, they have a school program where they have integrated into the individual education programs at local elementary, middle, and high schools to make sure that the students there going through a mainstream learning experience or getting what they need. What the VISTA Center offers is the opportunity to understand that, that if you think that something's too hard, too complicated, too difficult to do, too challenging, all you need to do is add a little courage and you can do anything.